Hello and welcome back to another Survival Season 2 Episode 20. If you did not watch the last episode, I highly recommend that you do because, spoiler alert, we defeated the Wither and we crafted ourselves a beacon. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, beacon. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode. So today... Uh, we need to move on basically. We need to move on. So one of the things we need to do is decide which one of these effects we want or which one of these two effects we want. Um, nope. Not today. Oh. Quick charge. I already got that. No oh, thanks. <laughs> but we also need to take a look at the board over here. So finish all possible advancements. So that is our next like go-to goal. For a while this has been our goal, but now this is our goal right here. We need to try and finish all the possible advancements that we can uh, possibly do. So we need to take a look at that. And I have a small idea of what we will be doing today. So I have a plan. Um, you may already have seen it from the thumbnail. <laughs> but anyways, let's equip our helmet. And um, I need gold. A lot. Okay, I don't need a lot of gold, but I need some gold to activate the beacon. I don't... I mean, I have so much iron. I could just use iron, but I feel like it would be almost a waste. But right now, I have way more iron than I have gold. I don't think I have any gold anywhere. Nope, I do not. Um, so I need to go ahead and... Well, find, just find a little bit of gold, and then I'll be right back with you. So we can activate the beacon and get its effects. Um, I have no idea where to find gold. I have pretty much taken all the gold away from this uh, general area for, well, the beacon platform. Um, so this could take a little bit for me to find. Well, that's in an inconvenient spot, but it's pretty much the only gold that is around here. But that is in a very, very inconvenient spot. Um, huh. This... <laughs> This could cost me my life. <laughs> this uh, this better be enough for an ingot or two because, yeah, this hmm, is questionable. I know I could just use the gold farm, and I think I will have to do that in between episodes moving on because when I need when I know I need gold anyway. Because uh, yeah, this is becoming an issue. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this here because why not? Okay, so that is how much? Seven ingots. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Let's hit back and we can activate the beacon. And now it's actually fairly easy to find our way home because we can from a distance see where base is from, well, the beacon. That's pretty cool. And I did ask you guys in the last episode. Oh, that's cool right there. I mean, don't mind me. Oh, I don't, I don't mind some extra <laughs> but I asked you guys in the last episode whether or not we should dye uh, the beacon color and someone did point out that please leave it as it is because it uh, I believe the wording is it adds a contrast like it it stands so much out in in the nether and it really really does so I honestly think I'm not I yeah I'm not gonna change it because I actually like this bright white color it well as the person said, it stands out. So I like that. That is a good point. So we won't be coloring it. I like it the way it is. Now let us head up here and craft some gold. So that little trip gave us 11 gold ingots and 4 gold nuggets. Not too bad. That's pretty good. Alright, good. Um, I'm hoping to maybe be able to save up some levels here and re-enchant iron leggings to keep them on breaking three because currently they only have blast protection four and it could do with some uh, better enchantments especially now that we're done with the wither i'm not really getting blown up by things like creepers or anything like that all right so what are our options we have speed haste jump boost resistance and strength and regeneration and for whichever we pick we can either pick haste one or the number two variety or also regeneration now, a lot of you gave a lot of suggestions, so thank you for all the feedback, and it's going to be hard for me to pick, and we need to remember, we can always change this anyway. I need to look up what the resistance actually does, because I honestly, <laughs> I don't remember what it does. Okay, so I just read up on resistance, and apparently it just basically 
does what it says. It reduces damage from incoming mobs. So that would be really nice because we are surrounded by a lot of piglins and hoglins here. And because the uh, beacon is in full um, full level, full stage, full power, it is go it should be, I think it's 60 blocks in, that di in every single direction that it has effect. So it's in way that direction. So in this general area that we are stationed in, but I don't, yeah, I don't feel like speed is going to be that useful. It could potentially be dangerous. In fact, haste, I already have a efficiency four pickaxe and it insta mines Netherrack. Jump boost, I don't really see a reason to. Um, someone pointed out that I could easier to easily or easier do critical hits, but eh, not that big of a deal. So it's really down to strength, resistance, and regeneration. And strength, like someone also pointed out, I can pretty much one tap anything with the Netherrider Hex uh, by crit by critting. Um, strength would help with that actually. So that is something to keep in mind. Strength would allow me to do more damage. Uh, let me read up on the details actually. So it turns out the strength potion effect, um, well the strength here at tier 1, is, I believe, if I'm cor if I understood everything correctly, increases the damage by 1.5 hearts. So another right axe currently does 12 attack damage, so that would raise it to 13.5. Eh. Hmm. We could do a combination of strength and regeneration, or we could do a a combination of regeneration, or sorry, resistance and regeneration, instead of just getting resistance too. I think we will definitely get regeneration, but to get the strength or the resistance, getting these two resistance and regeneration would pretty much make us immune to almost any damage because we would regenerate. I, f I think I'm gonna go with this. Strength and regeneration. Let me know your thoughts down below. Should I have picked resistance? Instead of strength, let me know. But this is the setup we will be rolling with. Um, again, we can always change it out. So there we go. And we now have strength and regeneration. So that is really cool. So if we take damage, it is going to be very quickly regenerated. So that is really, really cool. This is going to be a huge help. I'm very happy with this. So thank you to everyone for your suggestions and your feedback down below in the comments. Keep it coming. Speaking of comments and such, if you're not subscribed and enjoy what you see here, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to reach uh, 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Can we do it? It's up to you guys. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, if you wish to support me. <laughs> and also, according to YouTube, 80% of you are actually not subscribed. So if you enjoy what you see here and wish to support me, Subscribe and uh, yeah, that that way you don't miss videos and whether well, yeah, you get the point. Okay. Anyways moving on So the next thing why do I have all this stuff in my inventory? I don't even know where I got all this from Anyways, uh, the next thing is actually to take a look at our advancements because that is the next thing on our uh, series to do list um, so I have had a little bit of a look through here and the task is basically to do any of the advancements that is possible for us to do Meaning we will not be able to do something like um, throw a trident at something because we're not able to get a trident down here in the nether. Um, kill one of every hostile monster. We can't complete that one either. But of course we can uh, kill every single mob in the nether. Uh, hostile monster in the nether that is. Which I think we have already done. I think we've already done that pretty much. Itself, it says 12 here. So that is probably correct. Let me know if I somehow have missed one in this uh, process here. Uh, use a totem of undying, they are not achievable, and these are not achievable. Uh, wait, hold on. Kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away. We can do that, actually, because we do have skeletons here. So that is something to, to try and get done. We just need to get into a soul sand valley and potentially uh, get a normal bow so I can aim properly. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the bullseye of a target block. How on earth do I make a target block? Okay, so that requires hay, so we do not have access to that. Uh, what do we have here? Summon an iron golem. We are... I don't believe we have access to pumpkins here. Um, stick situation. We don't have honey. Kill two phantoms. 
not doable. Give up pills to a taste of their own medicine. We don't have pills just down here. Would be cool though. Sleep in a bed to change the respawn point. Yeah, yeah, touching a bed is going to explode. Discover every biome. And this is in the overworld. This is not the nether. Um, this is not the nether bit. This is, on the other hand, this explore all nether biomes. So that has been done. These are basically all the nether advancements. So what do we got here? The only one in this task we are not able to do is rescue a gas from the nether. And a furious cocktail have every potion effect because that's just not doable for us. This is not doable because we're not allowed to enter into the overworld. We could get it into through the portal, but we would not be able to then kill it. So that would be the issue. Now this is going to be a long, a long one. Get a full suit of netherite armor. We're halfway there. Don't actually know. Uh, yeah, I only have one diamond to my name. We would need uh, 14 diamonds more. So that is some potential streams to get diamonds and ancient debris right there. Another one we are not able to do is subspace bubble, uh, but we can construct them. Please be. I don't. Why are these not? I mean, we have done these. I just don't know why it doesn't say they are done. Do they have to be done in the world or something? Let me know if you know something about that down below in the comments. Um, but we have definitely done those. And then ride a strider with a warped fungus on a stick. Um, this is going to be doable. We also have honey, of course, breed two animals together, breed all the animals, not doable, but we can do that. We can breed striders. And that is what I will be doing today. Tame an animal. We can't do that. Catch a fish. Unless we can fish in the lava, that's not doable now, is it? Um, yeah, all of this is not doable. Wait, oh, use the other right ink it to upgrade a hoe. We can do that, actually. So we need some diamonds and more netherite to do this one. This is going to be an annoying one to do, but we can do it. Uh, what else do we got? Wigan and then Cura Zombie Wheelchair. Yeah, this is all the overworld stuff. Um, but the Strider seems like the easiest one to be able to get, like, kind of out of the way and done. All the other ones are long-term ones. So do I have a saddle? Yes, I have plenty of saddles right here. It's going to be nice to get rid of some of this. So yes, we are getting some Striders today. Um, I have my fire resistance right there, so that is good. Do I have string? Please tell me I have string. Yes, I need two pieces. Uh, let me see if I know how to do this. So string, then that is a fishing rod. And then I need fungi. Fungi. No, I don't have any blue fungi. I'm possibly going to steal one of the... Are they spreading? I don't know if I placed this many. Um, I'm going to steal this one. Now, can... Is it... This is so stupid. I know it's not doable. But what happens if I try and fish in the lava? It just goes straight down. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's hmm, interesting. All right. So instead of fishing in the lava, we're going to put on a fungus. Warped fungus on a stick. So now we can actually ride um, the striders. But now... I need some more fungi, or fungus. Actually, it's fungus. Oh dear. <laughs> Taste strength. Doink. Oh dear. Ah, okay. okay, hold on, hold, hold on. Okay, this is, this is a lot. Thank you, regeneration. This is going to be very good. And the strength is pretty cool as well. Okay, there we go. Ah! <laughs> Where did you come from? No. I don't wanna. No. Go away. <laughs> uh, that was an ambush. What a fun guy. Get it? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, get some... <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some fungus now. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. What? Is that? Nope. Wait, is that gold? Gold. Give. Aha! Two, three, four, five, six... No. Okay, that should be enough to be able to breed a few. And uh, yeah, so now we need striders. And I know exactly where to get some. Um, now, what I don't have planned or anything is how on earth to keep them. So maybe before I leave, I should grab some wood. Because I think I'm going to need it. I really miss... A, miss <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could get mending on this on this axe. That would be pretty cool if I could. 
though I don't think it's going to be possible. All right, I'm going to grab a few of these lights. I think I have an idea on what I'm going to do. Um, so this is, is this the return of the Struder family? A lot of people have been requesting that. Is it the return of the Struder family? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. All right, four of those. I guess that is going to be fine. Um, yeah, let's head on over and find a Strider. Uh, yeah, I have a, bit, a little bit of a different idea. In the last season, season one, um, I built like a almost like a pasture thing for them with lava and also almost made it into like a cave camp, camp that that place. Um, but I think I have a different idea for this season. Um, it's not going to be as pretty, but it's going to be better in in general for the striders. I really should consider wearing gold armor out here because I'm attracting a bunch of attention. Unwanted attention, that is. All right, here we are. This is the meat producer. Oh. But I forgot this is a crossbow, not a normal bow. Please die. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is the Hucklin farm that we made in... don't remember what episode number, but it is very, very efficient and it's in the playlist if you are interested. But the cool thing here is that there are a lot of striders nearby, so I'm thinking... in fact, there's one right there. So I am thinking, first off, I'm going to block this area off because I don't want any nasty surprises. And then, hey fella. And then I'm thinking of basically continuing this, but in a kind of a big, I guess, circle ring thing and basically have the striders live in here because they're going to be happiest here in the lava and not near the surface, so I think this is going to be a nice idea. Just have them roam around in the lava. Um, so that is going to be my master plan. Though I, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we're going to find out. Um, so this is going to be kind of terrifying. I kind of want to find the center of this. Okay, right here. 12. So this would be the entrance right here. Now I'm again not sure how I'm going to do this. I want it to be safe for me and I do in fact, and I'm going to just equip it, I do have splash potion of fire resistance here so hopefully that is going to do me well. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do this. I guess uh, definitely want this to follow me and then do something like this and start going maybe in a circle like that. Hmm. I'm f thinking something like this and maybe go like 10 blocks that direction, 10 blocks that direction. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's try and go 7. So that's 5, 6, and 7. Yeah, 10. 8, 9, 10. And the same in that direction. So something like this, and then just continue this um, border all the way around. So turn that direction, turn that direction, and then across, and then continue the paths down. I guess I could have just connected it to this, but I feel like it's kind of cool to have it as a separate thing. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. Now this guy is kind of trapped. You know what, if I just do that and let you pass. Maybe you'll follow me if I have this here. Kinda. I think we got him there. So that is our, that could potentially be our first rider as long as he doesn't go outside the boundary here. <laughs> you know, I could actually do this a whole lot easier. Yeah, get closer actually, get closer. Get closer, come on. That's right. And then just, okay. So, <laughs> this is our first rider. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And stick to the end of the video. I have a surprise for you all. Um, so now, I can actually do this a whole lot easier. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is... <laughs> this is cool. One, two, three. Uh, 
four, five, six. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and then I, yeah, now I need to go. This may not be 100% straight. <laughs> okay, after much of counting and doubt, <laughs> I think I kind of completed this. So this is basically the ring. Um, these guys will not be able to exit this like perimeter. Now the thing here is they can in fact walk up here and then they can walk up here and they can get stuck outside. So I need to find a way. Okay, phew. I don't know if they will walk up on the, by themselves though. You know, they might not. Are you? They may not just walk up here on their own. Um, I kind of hope not. Now, the thing is, I need to have a path here so that I can actually reach them from wherever I am. And then I also need a gate somewhere. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, excuse me, <laughs> six, and seven. Come on. I need to go there. I will say I haven't seen him like walk up on the slabs uh, on his own. I think maybe it's because he wants to stay in the lava and obviously walking on here would be cool for him. So I'm thinking something like this and then maybe some trap doors that we can open up here and here to let them through. I think that is going to be pretty cool. There we go. All the way around. And then I was thinking adding the trap door. Hmm. I was hoping they wouldn't be placed like that. I don't know if he's going to walk up on those on his, on his own. I mean, I hope not. Um, but even if he does, he's... Hmm. I guess we will have to see if we have any escapees. And then I want to place these somewhere. I just don't know where. I guess the corners? Eh. I guess that works. Even though there's like nothing keeping this thing up. I guess it could be a thing that floats because, you know what, I'm gonna go with that story. Because warp wood cannot burn and so it must float on lava, which means this is a huge floaty device. Yes. Yes. It is hereby called the floaty device. <laughs> floaty device, I think, completed for now in a way. The episode is 22 minutes long and... Uh, yeah, but we're not done yet. We're not 100% done yet. Firstly, uh, maybe getting a gate here wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm out of wood. I hear a ghast. I hear a ghast. I hear a ghast. Oh. Please. Okay, can't hit him yet. That looks kind of dumb. But if it serves the purpose well... I guess it'll work. Alright, um, I gotta get rid of this gas and then we have one final thing to do in this episode. guys so it is true the Struder family did indeed return in season two there you have it and with that I'm going to end this episode right here I really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet again trying to get the channel to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year can we do it I mean I'm floating right now that should be all the reason you need <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with the other advancements, to be honest. Uh, again, let me know what on earth is going on with these beacons right here. Um, but I guess this is going to be very grindy, so that might be a bunch of streams before we are able to get that done. Um, yeah, I'll have to uh, 
Ride a strider with a warp fungus on a stick. I already... I, I did that. I did that. Do I have to right click the stick? Ah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Another advancement has been made today. <laughs> Get in the lava. I, I hate that. I hate that. It's so annoying. It, you are not. But that game mechanic just put me there. I'm right there. I'm right next to it. But yeah, I'll figure out what to do with other ones and what to do for the next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Whatever that may be. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and goodbye.